What's up Watch Flyers? David here. Have you ever been in an airport and you're just having a miserable time at the terminal? Everyone's hovering over the outlets to charge your, the electronic devices. The food is really expensive. You're tired and it's crowded. It's probably the worst part about traveling. Fortunately, there's a game changer. You could get airport lounge access just with a single credit card. If you're not familiar with airport lounge access, basically it's an oasis in the middle of an airport. You could shower there. You could sleep there. You have access to as much free food as you want, free drinks, and you get to chill and relax in peace. It completely changes your airport experience. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the five best credit cards that offer airport lounge access, and I'm also gonna go over the actual cost of lounges if you were to pay out of pocket, so how much value you're actually getting with these airport lounges. So if you want free food and showers, next time you go to the airport, make sure you pay attention to this entire video so you can see which is the best option for you. Let's start with the number one best card for airport lounge access, which is gonna be the American American Express Platinum card. So this card has a ton of benefits in general when it comes to travel, but we're just gonna focus on airport lounge access in this video. With the Platinum card, you're gonna get Priority Pass, which is a airport lounge access network that has over 1,200 lounges around the world in different airports. And later on in the video, I'll break down specifically more about the Priority Pass. But with the Platinum Card, you're also gonna get Centurion Lounge, which you could only access with the Platinum Card or Business Platinum Card. And it's said to have been probably the best airport lounge access in the world. But it's very exclusive. There's only a handful of these and they're not everywhere. Plus, you're also gonna have access to the International American Express Lounges, as well as Delta Sky Club Lounges, every time that you're flying with Delta the same day. As I mentioned, Platinum Card comes with a ton of benefits such as hotel elite status. You're gonna get a bunch of credits such as Uber credit, Saks Fifth credit, airline incidental fee credits, and the annual fee is $550. So I wouldn't just get the Platinum Card for the lounge access, I would get it assuming you're able to use all the other benefits as well. And when it comes to lounge access for a guest with a platinum card, you're allowed up to two free guests at lounges. So card holder plus two free guests. Next card on the list is gonna be the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, which is gonna offer Priority Pass Select membership just like the Platinum card, so you're gonna have access to over 1,200 lounges around the world. Chase Sapphire Reserve card just raised their annual fee to $550. It's gonna come with a few other benefits as well, along with a $300 travel credit. You're gonna get Lift Pink membership as well as DoorDash benefits too. And the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card comes with a hefty annual fee of $550, so you wanna make sure you're able to use the other benefits offered by this card, not just the lounge access. And similar to the Platinum Card, with the primary card holder of the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card, you're allowed to have two additional guests come into the lounge for free. Next is the American Express Hilton Honors Aspire card, which is also gonna come with Priority Pass Select, just like the Chase Sapphire Reserve and Platinum card. It allows the primary card holder plus two free additional guests to come in, and the annual fee is $450 for this card, but it comes with a big sign-up offer as well as a lot of other benefits. Between the credits offered as well as a free anniversary award night with the Hilton Aspire Card, you can more than make up that $450 annual fee. Next card on the list is gonna be the American Express Hilton Honor Surpass card. So if you don't want unlimited amount of lounge access throughout the year, you just want a few passes, this is a good card because you're gonna get 10 free passes with this card. And if you use more than 10 passes for the year with this card for a priority pass, then it'll cost $27 for each additional visit. Next card is the City Prestige card, which is another premium card, has a lot of premium benefits with it. My favorite benefit is the fourth night free at hotels on cash stays, which is, I think, a great deal. But besides that, you're gonna get Priority Pass Select membership, just like the Reserve, just like the Platinum card. It's gonna allow the card holder plus immediate family or two additional guests come in for free. And the annual fee for the City Prestige is gonna be $495. Now, City cut a bunch of protect, travel protections and benefits with this card uh, September 2019, so it's not as valuable as it used to be with travel purchases, but you do earn five points per dollar with dining, which I think is 
a good deal, assuming you're able to use the rest of the benefits with the card. So those previous cards cover overall general lounge access with the Priority Pass network, and these next cards are gonna be specific airline credit cards that offer a lounge access. First card is gonna be the Chase United Mileage Plus Club card, which is a premium card for United, and it's gonna offer you United Club Lounge access, along with Select Star Alliance Partner Lounges. It allows the primary card holder plus immediate family or two additional guests in for free, and there's an annual fee of $450. A less expensive version of this card with United Club Lounge access would be the Chase United Explore card, which offers two free lounge accesses to the United Club Lounge every year. So uh, it's no annual fee the first year with this card, then after the first year it's gonna be $95. So essentially you get to access the United Club Lounge two times per year, or with you and a partner, anybody could use that a United Club Pass that they give you. Next card is gonna be the City Advantage Executive World Elite MasterCard, which offers lounge to the Admirals Club, which is the American Airlines lounge that can be found in many different airports. With this card, you also have access to a few different partner One World Alliance lounges. And with this card, with a primary card holder, you're allowed immediate family as well as two, or, or actually not and, or two additional guests. This is another premium card with an annual fee of $450. So you definitely wanna weigh out the benefits of this card and see if it's worth getting. And the next card is the American Express Delta Reserve card, which is another premium card, $450 annual fee, and probably the most disappointing lounge access out of the bunch. So for the primary card holder, it's completely free to access the Delta Sky Club, but if they bring in two additional guests, it's gonna be $29 per guest. And then starting January 30th, 2020, it's gonna go up to $39 per person to access the Delta Sky Club, which is very disappointing compared to the other cars that I mentioned before. It's always two free guests or immediate, or at least immediate family with the airline branded credit cards. So to pay for an additional guest with this premium card, I think is a little annoying and not as competitive as the other cards. To be fair though, Airport lounges are getting crowded. So throughout the world, anyone who wants to access one of these airport lounges, you just need a credit card with an annual fee of $95 or less even, which is like the minimum amount you have to pay to get into these lounges. With such a low barrier to entry to get into these lounges, they're not as exclusive as they used to be. So anytime I've been into the lounge, I've had good experiences, I've never been turned down, but I think it depends on the day and time. Some people who have lounge access go to the lounge and they're actually denied and they're not allowed to go in the lounge with their family, even though that they have priority pass or whatever other lounge access that they have. So that's one thing to keep in mind when it comes to airport lounges, but in my opinion, I think it's still worth it. And if you wanna apply for any of the cards mentioned in this video that offer airport lounge access, you can use the referral links down in the description below. And by using our links, it really helps out the channel. Now there's also a little workaround where you're able to gain access to lounges by becoming an authorized user on one of the cards I'm about to mention. So if you don't wanna pay the $450, $550 annual fee to get lounge access to these exclusive lounges, you could pay a lot less and still get the same benefits and access to the same lounges. So next I'm gonna go over which credit cards allow authorized user access and how much it'll cost. Now the cool thing is when you become an authorized user on one of these cards, you don't need to be with the primary card holder. If you're an authorized user and your name is on the card, essentially you're able to access the lounge the same exact way as a primary card holder. So first card is gonna be the American Express Platinum card. It's gonna cost $175 to get three authorized users. So if you know somebody who has the American Express Platinum card, you could pay them $175 and then you have up to three cards that you could get and each card will allow the same access to Priority Pass, Centurion Lounge, Airspace Lounge, Delta Sky Club, same thing as the primary card holder of the Platinum card. So this is actually something I'm gonna use uh, coming up on a future trip. So next time I'm gonna go to an airport that has Centurion Lounge access, I'm going to approach one of my family members, we already spoke about this, but I'm gonna become an authorized user on her card, and then I'll have access to the Centurion Lounge, as well as Marriott Gold Status and Hilton Gold. 
sold status. So for me, this is definitely worth paying $175 for. Next is the City Advantage Executive World Elite MasterCard, which allows up to 10 authorized users with no fee, $0 per authorized user, and you have access to the Admirals Club with this card. With the Chase FI Reserve Card, it costs $75 per authorized user, and you're just gonna get the Priority Pass select membership. And with the City Prestige card, it's gonna cost $50 per authorized user, and that's gonna come with the same Priority Pass select membership as the uh, primary card holder of the City Prestige card. So becoming an authorized user on one of these cards could be a really cost-effective way to access lounges. The only thing to keep in mind is that if you are 524 sensitive, then becoming an authorized user on someone's card will count towards your 524 count. So airport lounge access sounds great and all, but what is the actual value of the airport lounge? So in this next section, I'm going to break down the actual cost of if you were to pay out of pocket full price to visit the lounge for the day, as well as the year membership. First, let's break down Priority Pass Select. So it's going to cost $399 for a single year membership. Now the great thing with this is you're able to access the lounges unlimited amount of times. Next let's talk about the Centurion Lounge. So there's actually no price to get in in the Centurion Lounge. You literally, you need the Platinum Card or to become an authorized user of the Platinum Card to access the Centurion Lounge. So it's really exclusive compared to the other lounges. There's no year membership, there's no day pass. It's only gonna cost $50 for the third guest to come into the Centurion Lounge. Next is the American Airlines Admirals Club. So depending on the elite status that a person has, it'll cost anywhere from $450 to $550 for a year membership. You could access it an unlimited amount of times. And if you were to just go for the day, if you didn't have any elite status, any of these cards, it'll cost you $59 for the day. And for the Delta Sky Club, it'll cost $495 for the year, $59 for the visit. And same with the United Club Lounge Access, depending on your status, it could cost anywhere from $450 to $550 for the year membership or $59 per a day visit. So depending on which lounge access you have, you could easily calculate how much money you're gonna save just per visit that you're going, and if you're able to use it for the year, how much you're gonna save on that year with the unlimited amount of times that you're gonna be visiting the lounge. Now once you have one of these cards, like the reserve card or platinum card, there are some certain things you need to do in order to access the lounges. You can't just use your card for priority pass, you would need to register that card. So if you wanna learn exactly the steps to do, once you have the platinum card or reserve card with using the benefits, you could click either one of these cards over here and I'll see you in the next video.